Hi, and welcome to my guide. Today, we're going to be completing the Ascent of Osseus. The quest requirements are Clan of Corrent and having at least 20% in Arceus favor, and the stat requirement is level 12 Hunter. There are no items needed. For the recommended items would be, as always, some weight-reducing armor, and one stamina potion should be enough, depending on how many teleports you have unlocked here around Zia. The less teleports you have unlocked, the more stamina potions that you will need. As well as some food, armor and weapon to kill 5 monsters of combat 16 and 1 of combat 30. For the teleports, 1 to Corrent Castle. You can either use Xerix Talisman and use the Xerix Heart teleport or use the regular Corrent teleport. But running is okay since from Arceus House to Corrent Castle isn't really that far. Then 1 teleportation method to the battlefront. If you don't have access to these, then running will just take you one minute longer. Two teleportation methods to the Ferrowing CIR, which on the map is located just west of Lova Kench, right there south of Mount Callum. This is CIR. If you don't have access to Ferrowings, then bring along one extra teleport to the battlefront, which is right here, or you will need to run a lot to get there. And also three teleportation methods to the fair ring of CIS, which is the one you had to pay for just north of the Arceus library. If you haven't paid for it yet, then just bring along 80,000 GP during this quest. And if you don't have access to fair rings, just bring along a game cyclist like to teleport yourself to Winterdot. And as always, one teleportation method out of here after the quest is completed. Where to start this quest is here in the center of Arceus' house, next to the magic trees, here you'll find a dead body and Mori. Talk to her and select option 1, 2 and then 1 again. Next, let's teleport to Corrent Castle, or just simply run there. And now we'll need to head inside of the castle. Climb one of the two stairs, doesn't matter which one, just go to the second floor. And just go a bit to the center of the second floor, or the first floor, if you're from America. And here you should find a counselor next to the throne. Talk to him and select option 2. After speaking to him, we will need to return to Mori at the quest start. So just make your way back there. There isn't really an easy teleport to get to those magic trees. Once you've returned to Mori, let's talk to her and select option 2, or talk to it. Next, let's teleport to the fairy ring of CIS. I will be using the Relica Slayer Ring teleport, but the Tower of Magic isn't far away. If you haven't unlocked this fairy ring yet, then you just need to run northwest. Just west of the library, there you'll find the Tower of Magic. I'm going to be using the fairing CIS and then just run southwest. Here at the entrance we'll find two NPCs. Talk to any of the two tower mages and they will allow you access. Next, it is time to fight the 5 combat 16s, so say yes to enter, and you'll find some tortured souls inside of this room. Kill all 5 of them. Thank you. 
Once the fifth one is defeated, let's go to the stairs and let's go upstairs. Somewhere in the center of this room, you should find Ancestress Arceus. Talk to him, or it. And after this long conversation is over, we will need to teleport to the fairy ring of CIR. I will be using once again my slayer ring, but if you don't have access to fairy rings, just teleport to battlefront or try to get there by running. Configure CIR. Once you've arrived to the battlefront or the fairing CIR, just run north. Just keep going north and they'll find the mountain of Kalam. If you have the low agility requirement, just climb the first rocks. If you have 62 agility, then climb the second rocks. If you don't have any agility, then you will need to run all the way around the mountain. Once you've arrived to the top, let's go to the center and they'll find a nice, they'll find some machinery. You will need to try to look for the activate button and then activate to go downstairs. Next, go north and you'll find three NPCs. Talk to the eastern one and just keep pressing the spacebar. After this long conversation, we will need to do them a favor before they will do you a favor. Next, after this conversation is over, run all the way back to the fairy ring of CIR or just use your Battlefront teleport. If you've used the fairy ring teleport CIR once again, just run a bit southeast until you see this graveyard. Here you'll find an ancient grave. Click on it and you'll find some tracks. Follow the tracks to the end and there you'll find some vegetation around it, which a inspect option. Inspect the bush just south of the track. Next, search a plant just west of the track. Next, search a plant just a bit southwest next to the water. Next, search the tree stump. Then search the big plant, just south of the track. All right, once you've done it four times, you will see the final one, which is a plant. Once you inspect it, a level 30 will appear and attack you. So be prepared and inspect the plant to find a tortured soul. Kill the combat 30. After we've defeated this soul, we will need to return to the three calls so they will do our favor. I'm gonna quickly go back to the fairing of CIR and don't wanna run.
Once you've made it back to the calls, talk to them. Say that you've dealt with the souls. And they will now do you the small favor of telling you how to deal with your quest. Next, we will need to go to the Dark Altars. The fastest way would be to teleport to the Fairy Ring of CIS. A second way how to get to the Dark Alt would be to teleport to Winterthought. Once you've made it to the Dark Altar, around it there should be some rocks with inspect options. Search the rocks around it to find a hidden device, but the location is random for everyone, so just keep looking for it, I guess. Alright, once you've smashed the hidden device, now we simply need to return to the Tower of Magic located west of the Arches Library to complete our quest. You could use your final CIS teleport to quickly get back to the Arceus library, but I have... But I ruined my last teleport. Once you're back at the Tower of Magic, let's go to the second floor and here you should find next to the stairs Lord Osseus. Let's talk to Trobin Osseus to complete our quest. And congratulations, you've completed the Ascent of Osseus quest you are awarded with. A long conversation, as well as one quest point, 2000 GP, 1500 hunter experience, 500 room crafting experience, a favor certificate, and a memoir page. Now be sure to use this certificate only when you are progressing in none other than Altheus, or if you've definitely locked in all of your other favors, and then say yes. Next, there's also a dark disposition. You can use this on the Keras memoirs, to unlock the Arches House teleport. Just click on it and it will teleport you straight to the middle of Arceus, where the dead body lies. Is the, bed the dead body is gone? Alright, that was my guide how to complete the ascent of Arceus quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. I'm gonna get 100% Arceus favor now. Okay, thanks, bye.